hey so uh, Leo this one's for you hi welcome this is Terra Illumination with your new singles mini love and relationship report and that's you Leo and it's for mid-September I know it's mid but you know stretch it into October if you want you know the drill watch for your Sun moon and rising squish it all together reinterpret turn it into your own story okay that's all we're doing here is telling stories okay so the cards were already pre-shuffled well in advance I'm just taking it to the last moment so that you're a witness no jumpers no flyers no reversals no oracles sorry we're just keeping it very simple it's enough to deal with just this little thing here so you can also see we kind of spread it all out here uh, the background the reasoning for this spread and why this spread the way it is and you can figure it out for yourself so I don't have to you know spend half an hour trying to explain the spread all right here we go so cards are shuffled we're gonna cut and then we're gonna pull and then we're gonna read all right so that was a pretty pretty extreme cut there for you Leo uh, how are you dealing with the uh, eclipses huh could be very interesting for you guys you've been taking it right on the nose so to speak could be very exciting uh, anyway this is your mini reading for you singles now again you know with singles we're not fortune tellers here in terrible illumination we're just talking about energy this is what if in other words you're always radiating energy and this is what you would attract if so it's all about what if now if this does manifest and you continue to be like this then this could actually manifest down the road in what we call the future so in some ways you have to take it very seriously that would be you that would be the other that would be the relationship itself and this would be the prospects where is it all going if we're going to look at the bottom card in a second that's the weather that's the prevailing conditions that surround everything here and like anyone else Leo you're gonna make the best of it okay you're gonna make the best of the weather all right we're not gonna let the weather own you okay if it's miserable weather doesn't mean you have to be sad if it's really awesome weather uh, but you're miserable inside that's okay too all right let's have a look with the king of wands here uh, it might be kind of inspiring it might be feeling like for you right now Leo it's just like I'm in the right place at the right time finally to be me to have a chance to be the new me the new Leo mark II that I've always wanted so I'm gonna go for it thank you very much and I'm gonna put on my crown and robes and I'm gonna happily be who I am and I'm not ashamed and I'm proud and um, I hope nobody gets offended by my own self being myself okay thank you very much no harm done anybody wants to hang out and have fun with me too that's great you're all welcome because that's what you're like Leo you're big-hearted and you're very very generous and you like to spread the love and the light and the inspiration so that's what's going on around you that's the potential there uh, also yeah with this time with this situation it's an opportunity to rise up to that level like you might be feeling it right now oh my gosh this is my chance to regain full sovereignty of self like never before Leo mark II. all to do with the eclipses in the north node yay okay so let's have a look at you what's going on okay well things are getting pretty serious here with the Hierophant maybe you are in a like a new phase starting all over having just come out of the eclipses where you've decided to really really uh, get your act together with the Hierophant here like completely rewriting the code of life for Leo about what really really works as opposed to what you thought worked or what used to work or what you were taught is supposed to be and how it is this is you really and truly coming into mastery uh, uh, not just like in terms of your egoic self but at your deep soul energy where you're looking at your deepest code your deepest operating systems anything that's obsolete and redundant gone anything that needs to be upgraded upgraded any viruses that need to be killed and removed just do it and then you rewrite the code to what works and what is true okay and it's uh, unambiguous and it is like a universal code okay so that's that's kind of cool 
you might be setting the standards very high on yourself, which could put a lot of pressure on potential other relationships. You know, if this is the energy you're radiating, I mean, you, want, you might really want to lock it down in the future. You might be looking for a very substantial relationship down the road, hoping for something that is an equal to your match, a match to you, where if, the, if it was the right person, the right time, and the right place for the right reason, you'd want to formalize it, you know, put it on paper, like marriage vows, that kind of thing. Let's have a look at the other. What if? Whoa. <laughs> well, well, you got the Ace of Cups here, Leo. So maybe in your own awesomeness, you might be attracting something equivalent, but in a very different way to what you might be expecting. So please allow for anything and everything to happen uh, for you, Leo. We're not fortune tellers, okay? So if the Ace of Cups energy shows up in your life and it's embodied in a person that doesn't make any sense to you at first glance, please allow for that. In other words, you know, it, I don't know how else to explain that. They might not look like who you were expecting or you wanted, uh, but if they show up and someone turns up like this and they are full of all this love and this is a golden opportunity for them and they see the golden opportunity with you, the, the key thing here is to accept it because we're working with the laws of attraction here, okay? So it would be, you know, perfectly appropriate for you as you reintegrate and become your new self down the road being single right now, you might attract something that's really, really good and loving and viable for you uh, for the long term. And uh, they might be highly appreciative of you in that regard, too. So that's actually pretty good. It's you know, pretty good news. This, I mean, look at this. If this is the energy they're radiating, and how, how can you possibly, uh, it's almost how can you possibly go wrong with that? Uh, it's what everyone would possibly want in a relationship from someone else. To be on the receiving end of this much love, Leo, I'd take it. All right, let's have a look at the relationship dynamic itself. Okay, so, okay, with the Page of Wands here, Leo, it might be an admission that even despite your own awesomeness and willingness to, you know, totally recalibrate, start from scratch again, bring things to a whole new higher level of order and let's say this does arrive let's this does show up it could really kind of catch you off guard where you discover in leo mark ii having come out of leo mark one for years now evolving to leo mark ii where you're discovering that you might be a little bit innocent in some ways but that's good because you can start a whole new life path a whole new relationship cycle and admit that there's a whole lot more to learn, uh, but you're in a much better place now to do that because you have been through so much already and you're going through a massive recalibration as this happens. And this could be a very lively, active situation where it's a very loving, fun, uh, enjoyable type of relationship dynamic which could inspire you to become more and more of you, which fuels the relationship for both parties and you would feel it as a physical experience. So that's, I'm excited for you, Leo. I'm not trying to overstate the reading here or get really hyper about it, but to me it looks really, uh, it looks good for you as a way for, you know, the potential opportunity for you to come into your full sovereignty like, like it's never happened before. Of course, it does depend on you being ready, willing, and able to accept the love when it arrives, okay? Even if it might be in a different form, person, or let's say package that uh, you were ex planning or expecting. So what are the prospects here? Whoa, okay, you got some really strong cards going here for you, uh, Leo. My feeling here with the chariot uh, in the prospects position, it would give me a feeling that like, this let's say this what if situation let's who would they be what would they be radiating what would their energy be this could be very very good for you to wake you up uh, make you like in touch with your youth your vibrancy your inner child so to speak 
and charge you all up again like a real classic Leo. Like, I want to go for it now. I want to be the whole new me where you can see the relationship itself as an, as an amazing opportunity, a learning ground for you to, let's say, integrate the shadow side of yourself starting all over again on this whole new eclipse chapter for the next 19, 20 years or so, where you can go deeper than ever before because you've got all this available here for you, and it gives you a chance to integrate the shadow side of yourself with the bright side of yourself starting from scratch again. A whole new journey starts all over again, but this is the upgrade for Leo Mark II. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Watch your sun, moon, and rising. Make the best of it. Thank you so much for visiting Tower Illumination. I love you guys. Bye-bye.